This is my chassis dyno. If you're a gearhead, you probably know what this is. You might have even spent some of your hard-earned money to put your vehicle on one of these. But if you're like most people, you know what a dyno does, but you don't really know how it does it. We're here to change that. Come along with me and I'm going to give you a view into how machines like this work. And next time you have a vehicle on the dyno, you will understand what is happening. Dynos can be effectively broken down into two different categories. You've got engine dynos and chassis dynos. An engine dyno is exactly like what it sounds. You take an engine, attach it to the engine dyno, and begin to test and tune. If you have ever watched Engine Masters or any of Richard Holdner's content, you have seen an engine dyno in action. Chassis dynos can be further broken down into two categories of hub dynos, where you take the, the drive wheels off and hub adapters are bolted on and your dyno attaches to those hub adapters. The traditionally more common type is the roller dyno, like what I have here. A basic roller dyno consists of a heavy roller that's mounted on pillow block bearings. The only other thing that's required for a dyno like this to operate is a speed sensor. On my dyno, this consists of a magnetic sensor and a toothed wheel. As the drum rotates, the sensor counts the teeth as they go by, and the computer translates that into an RPM. When these are the only components that you have, this is called an inertia dyno. The computer knows the weight of the roller, and because of the speed sensor, it knows how fast it's turning. If you know the weight of an object, and you know the rate of its acceleration, then you can calculate how much force was applied to it. One of the biggest drawbacks to an inertia dyno is that they measure change. If there's no change, there's no data. If you want to tune part throttle conditions, an inertia dyno is not the place to do that. The other drawback of inertia dynos is that high-powered vehicles can sometimes accelerate that roller so quickly that it's impossible to gather any good data. This is where we get into dyno brakes. There's a few different types of dyno brakes out there, but all of them have a common goal. Put an additional load on the roller, to make it harder to turn. One of these brake types and the type that we're going to be focused on today is called the eddy current brake. What is an eddy current? Eddy currents are produced when a magnetic field comes in contact with a conductive material. What is a conductive material? Any material that conducts electricity. So any metal, even non-magnetic metals such as aluminum. The eddy current brake on my dyno consists of these eight large electromagnets inside of the drum. When the eddy current brake is energized, the electromagnets attempt to turn with the roller. Attached to the electromagnets is what is called a torque arm. Attached to the torque arm is what is called a load cell. When the load cell is compressed or expanded, the computer gets a signal telling it how much force is being applied to the brake. In this case, the computer uses inertia calculations plus brake force to determine the amount of torque that the engine is putting out. So all the measurement that we've talked about so far is torque and RPM. How do dynos measure horsepower? And the answer is they don't. Dynos do not measure horsepower. Dynos measure torque and RPM. And, they, and the computer calculate horsepower. The formula for horsepower is torque times RPM divided by 5,252. Where does the 5252 come from? I don't know, I'm not a mathematician. I just use math to get me where I wanna go. And that's the formula. I'd love to explore further with you this formula and how it's used, but we'll save that for another video. So that's pretty much it for the overview of the dyno and how it operates. Dynos aren't magic. They're a machine that takes measurements. So this should help you understand what's going on the next time a tuner is pushing buttons on a laptop in your car. You wanna see more dyno content? You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. It really does help. And I'll see you on the next one.